what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing now. Thank you, Lord, for Hey, everyone. Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, setting up um, sources of nitrogen uh, for your plants that are renewable. Um, a lot of you know I have um, chickens and rabbits and um, I also have this and some of my older videos I didn't point out the uh, you know the, the details of this um, I'm gonna try to now um, but basically what it is is uh, it's a fish barrel it's a barrel that you just put you know any kind of fish really and it's kinda goes along the lines of aquaponics um, uh, the only difference is, is that, um, I do water changes in this to get my nitrogen to my, uh, garden, and, uh, sorry about that, um, I actually found this zucchini plant out growing in my yard, and I just transplanted it, and, uh, it didn't like being moved, so, but I'm sure it'll grow back. I'm getting a really late start this year because of work, um, my gardening, but I wanted to show you guys um, how I utilize uh, the fish water. Basically, um, there's uh, there is a, a filter inside of there um, that I made myself on another video, um, and then this thing here um, it has a UV light inside of it, and that kills any of the green water that you would see, um, and uh, that basically keeps the water clean enough to where the fish can live in it. Um, and I'm putting, I'm floating all these fish because I'm putting some more in there right now. Um, it's been a while since I've messed with this, but I'm going to start doing the fish barrel again. But uh, down here, you can see there's a hose spigot, and uh, I haven't used it in a while because there's cobwebs growing on it. But you know, you turn that on, and uh, the fact that the uh, barrel's up high, um, I mean, the water will come out pretty good. See. And so that water there is just packed with nutrients. Um, and then I connect that to my drip line, and I turn this on, and it goes throughout my, my garden. Um, if you can't see, you can see it there. It goes throughout my garden, and um, I'm trying to figure out a way to where I can uh, set some pressure to it. Um, probably utilizing the water, I could probably use some sort of siphon to pull it out of here harder. Or I can just put the barrel up higher. And then, yeah, my kids' artwork. Um, I actually like SpongeBob, so that's why they did all that for me. But uh, basically, this is it. You just have some, uh, anything that lives in here, snails or whatever, um, they all put off waste. And uh, that waste gets uh, sucked out of the barrel down there. And I have a little mesh thing around it. Gets sucked out of there and right out here. And then it goes into the drip line and then into my garden. When I got it growing real good, um, I start to fertilize with this water. So, uh, let's let these fish out. I also forgot to point out that uh, you see all those little uh, dots? Well, at night, all those dots cover this barrel in here, okay? And so you don't want too much live stuff in here, you want just enough. Uh, and so basically, all these are snails. Um, that will actually take over in here and they'll kill everything in here. So, what I got was a couple uh, different things. Uh, one, I got these snails. And uh, these are called assassin snails. And uh, they literally are going to go in here and they're just going to, I mean, demolish these other little snails. These don't take over like these do. Um, so once these are done with those, they'll end up eating fish flakes, um, that, you know, the fish don't eat and stuff, um, uh, which turns into, uh, poop, which goes all into the water and out through the spigot and into the garden. So then here's another fish. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called like a wolf fish or something. Cause it looks like it, <laughs> a wolf. All right. So, I took all the fish out of the barrel, or out of the bags, and put them in the barrel. And uh, as you can see, uh, most of them are guppies. And uh, they're babies right now, but within a month, 
uh, they'll be fully grown and breeding already. Um, I got shrimp in here. Um, I got an algae eater, two algae eaters actually, a uh, Pocosimus to be exact. I don't know if you guys can see that fish. Right there. <laughs> I mean, sorry, my finger's so big, but see that long fish there? I don't remember the name of it, but they eat snails. They eat all these snails that are coming up, they eat those. And uh, you don't want too many snails because they will take over your tank and uh, make the ammonia just rise in here really big time. So, and then there's a ghost shrimp right sorry, I'm right there on the rock. <laughs> See him there? It's a little ghost shrimp there. And there's a molly in here, too. Um, and basically, yep, that's it. You know, it's another source of manure that you can uh, put through your drip lines and into your uh, garden area. So, and it's fun to look at. So, anyway, God bless you guys. If you have any questions, post them below. Join us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash home farm ideas.